So hi and welcome to this another episode with me Arshi. I hope you guys are doing good and in this video I'm going to talk about top MBA colleges in Tamil Nadu. I think I've made a lot of videos right from Maharashtra to Mumbai to Pune to Delhi but in this specific episode if you're from Tamil Nadu and wanted to know that what are the top best colleges when it comes to MBA so please watch the complete episode because I'm going to give you a lot of a lot of advice which will help you to shortlist the right college. So let's begin. this episode we'll start this episode with the first college in the list which is IIM Trichy which is IIM Tiruchirappalli right and uh, I mean you all know that when it comes to MBA IIMs are the most preferred institution when it comes to MBA yeah but before moving forward when it comes to top MBA colleges I want to add this important piece of information that Top colleges depends on student profile to profile. Let's say if you have 60 percentile in your CAT, the colleges will be different. If you have 50 percentile, different. If you have 70 percentile, different. If you're looking for marketing, colleges will different. Finance, different. HR, different. So that is something what you need to analyze that which is the right college for me as per my profile. Uh, now this question will come to your mind that how I'll be able to get it, get to know that you know which one is right for me. For that, there's a profile analysis form in the description box what you can fill and ask all your questions related to the same and also because I think you know I mean I have made majority of my videos in English and I mean I think last year only I started making these Bangalore colleges and all these videos in English because I, I mean majority of students don't know Hindi so what exactly happened you know when you shortlist the college you go to their website you look at the placements and there you find that the average package is 10 lakh or 9 lakh or 11 lakh but when you go to the college, the picture is all totally different. That's called the reality. Any college can put any figure when it comes to placement. So you need to verify that either those placements are real or not. Because you are making a huge investment when it comes to MBA and it should be worth it. And in that also, if you need any help, wanted to connect with these students who are studying at the college, please reach out to the description box. So talking about IIM Trichy, it was established in the year 2011. You need to have 94 percentile when it comes to CAT, when it comes to IIMs and IITs. They only and only accept CAT. Fee structure is near about 19.5 lakh, median package 19.50 lakh, average is 20 lakh, 55,000 and the highest package is 41 lakh. <coughs> so when it comes to IIM, right, it's not just your CAT ka score. It's more than that, I mean, they have GD, Extempore, PI, and a lot of students aspire to get into all these IMs. So there, the competition is a little high. So I mean, when it comes to the top college in Tamil Nadu, IM Prachi, everybody will not be able to make it with this. Moving to the next college in the list is basically IIT Madras, which is quite known when it comes to engineering. But there are a lot of IITs which are putting a lot of efforts in terms of MBA also. Average package at IIT Madras, you can have a look. The package is quite similar to IIM Trichy, but the fee structure is lesser than this. 12 lakh 70,000, 96 percentile, CAT percentile was established in the year 2004. Average 20 lakh 58,000 and highest package is 70 lakh. Through CAT only, you can apply for both IITs and IAMs. And even the ROI is better when it comes to IIT than IAM. That is one thing. Now moving to the next institution, which is again through various entrance examination, you can target right from CAT, CMAT, ZAT, and the college is Great Lakes Chennai with an average package of 14.5 lakh, right? 95 percentile they're claiming to give a cutoff. No, the cutoff is not 95. It might be near about 85, 90 percentile when it comes to Great Lakes Chennai. With 80, 85 percentile, you can apply. Highest placement is 46 lakh. With this, moving to the next college, that is NIT Trichy. I mean, I think I've recently reviewed an NIT which is in Jaipur. A lot of students were looking for less budget colleges and also government colleges. They have NITs in their list. And all those students who wanted to look for NITs, NIT Trichy is there. Though NITs are not able to build that reputation and brand value when it comes to MBA. The median package of NIT is 7.60 lakh. This is what they claim. Fee structure is 4,35,000 which is quite less and you know 
they are asking for 90 percentile cat cutoff but there's no such cutoff when it comes to nit yeah so you can apply with 50 60 70 percentile the exposure is not that good specifically when it comes to mba and to majorly nits so it was established in the year 1964 so after these three colleges we're going to talk about if i'm not wrong uh if i am not wrong yeah, so that's called Liba Chennai. I have already taken an interview of student who has completed their MBA from Liba. It was a very known institution because if you see, it was established in the year 1979. So initial year, I mean, there were only few MBA colleges in India, and out of those, Liba was one of those call one of those colleges. So it was among the top colleges. But being so old institution, they are not able to cope up with the market and the kind of marketing thing they need to do it so this is what i personally feel 80 percentile as a cutoff when it comes to cat apply through cmat and stuff like that average package they're claiming 11 lakh and the fee structure is 19.3 which is i mean the there is fluctuation in terms of the average package also you can have a look but the roi is something what we need to look because the fee structure is on expensive side after that you can look for bitm right it was established in the year 1984, 87 is something what they claim, but the cutoff is little lesser than this, right? Average package claiming 12.4 lakh, but uh, I mean, there is a variation when it comes to the average package, highest package is 20.5 lakh, right? Now, apart from this, we have Amrita Vishu with the Peer Coimbatore. Uh, I mean, I've been to Coimbatore, there's this college called PSG, College of Technology, I mean, yes. So, I mean, all these colleges lie under the same bracket. I mean, there's nothing called top colleges. You can easily get admission. That's 0 0.6, 0 0.75 lakh. A lot of students who are in, uh, you know, Tamil Nadu also want to opt for this college called Anna University. They have their entrance examination also. But again, 6.75 is the average package. And all these colleges comes under other colleges category, which is VIT. Again, known for engineering. SRM, known for engineering. Anna University, Chennai. Anna University is quite preferred by a lot of students because again it's a government college and they have their own entrance examination for enrollment to this specific college so it's a it has a huge huge craze but still I mean you can look for any of those options other than Anna University because in Anna University it's not like anybody can take admission they have their process other than this either Amrita, PSG, SR and VIT I mean these all are others category colleges where the admissions are quite easy you just need to say look that I mean are you preferably looking for colleges in Tamil Nadu or you are even open to move out to other locations which are the most preferred locations when it comes to MBA and then you need to decide that which college you need to opt it out if you need any help fill the form which is there in the description box like share and subscribe i hope you like this video for more such videos keep watching our channel and do not forget to like share and subscribe